hello beautiful people welcome back to the channel Igbe here I hope everyone is doing well I hope you had a fantastic weekend it's a new week with new remote job leads and today's video we are going to be exploring a role with JP Morgan Chase so JP Morgan Chase has a role open that is accepting applications and I'm going to be going over details about that job but before I get to that I do have other positions that I thought were interesting that I wanted to share with you guys. So we're going to go through them one at a time. Okay. The first one is with this company called MCMC. Okay. So they currently have a position open and it's titled client coordinator. They do have just one opening and this was recently posted. It's a 100% remote position. And it is Monday through Friday and the schedule is a little bit different. So please just make a note of this. They're starting at 1130 AM to 8 PM Eastern. So the, the schedule is a little bit unique and it's Eastern time zone. So 1130 AM to 8 PM Eastern. And with this position, you are going to be doing a lot of data entry specific type of roles. You're going to be handling inquiries and responding to different questions that come up. You are going to be entering those appropriate information into different systems and databases and so forth. Okay. What do they need, you know, in terms of qualifications for this position, they need high school diploma or equivalent, and they are asking for one year clerical experience. Okay. With this position, they are also asking for you to be a qualified typist. So minimum of 40 words per minute. That is what they are asking for, which is pretty typical with data entry. The salary for this position based on my research is between 20 to $30 per hour. So just keep that in mind. And on an annual basis, it is between 39,000 to 52,000 per year. So when you do the math, it does come to the 20 to $30 per hour. So depending on where you fall, obviously experience comes into play as well as location for these remote roles. Okay. We're going to move on to the second role. The second role is by this company called 0% and they are looking for an account receivable clerk. The salary range for this position is between 38 and $45,000 per year, which again, Based on the math, it should bring you to between 17 to $25 per hour. That is the range for this position. What are they looking for? They're looking for a minimum of high school diploma or equivalent. That is a requirement. They do have a bachelor's degree listed here, but that is a preference. So even if you do not have a bachelor's degree, you can still apply for this position. They are looking for you to have two years of accounting experience in addition to having a high school diploma. So that is pretty much this position. As soon as you're ready, you just hit apply and it will take you through the different steps. One thing I also want to call out with this role is that with this company, obviously in your resume, you want to make sure that you are calling things out such as you've assisted with billing, you've done account receivables in the past, or data entry is a big one because this is the data entry heavy role. So you want to make sure you call that out in your resume because oftentimes with a lot of these, there's so many applications that come through recruiter's desk. There's always a system of identification of what you're looking for. And if you call those type of skill set out, it the likelihood of them picking your resume or your application is a little higher. Obviously you don't want to lie on your resume, but it's just calling those experiences that you already have in very clear, concise type of languages that jumps out. Okay. So we're going to move on to the next role. The next role is titled member success coordinator It's also with the same organization, which is 0%. And this position is a fully remote role. It pays slightly higher than the first one because the range is 40,000 to 60,000 per year. And with this position, you are going to be doing a little bit more. They are focusing a lot on your customer service skills. They are focusing on you being able to collaborate and work with different team members. They are focusing on you being a critical thinker, 
And then what are the specific experience, right? So high school diploma, two years of sales experience, similar to the first one, and also customer service is a requirement for this position, okay? And this position is currently accepting applications. So definitely check it out. So now we are up to the last role, which is with JP Morgan Chase. And currently JP Morgan Chase is looking for this position called Frush Concierge. It is a concierge role. Okay. This position is a fully remote role and they are accepting applications right now. This was recently posted. So definitely go ahead and submit your applications because this is the type of role that will close very quickly. So do not snooze on it. If you're interested, go for it right away. So this position is a remote work from home. And one thing I do want to quickly make a note of is on here, they say already, they are going to be providing you with computer and all necessary hardware. But the only thing I think they ask of you is they want to make sure that you have internet to be able to work from home. Okay. So they will be supplying you with the equipment and they just ask you to have good internet service. They're asking for you to have at least one year of experience in leisure travel. So if you've worked for a travel agency before that will come in handy with what some of the requirements are for this position, but that's really the major call out. Everything else has to do with communication skills, working knowledge of Microsoft office, Outlook, Word, Excel, Teams, etc. They also need you to have high school diploma. Okay. But what's interesting is that it's under preferred qualifications, which means even if you do not have a high school diploma, you can still submit application and be considered for this position. Let's talk about the salary. The base salary for this role, obviously, depending on where you reside, New York is $32.45 per hour. And New Jersey is as follows as well. Rhode Island is a little bit lower. California is the same. Washington is the same, etc. Okay. So, those are the positions for this video. I hope you find this information that I've provided helpful. Hope these leads work out for you. If you're interested again, please go ahead and submit your applications right away. I definitely encourage each and every one of you to turn your notification bell on because you want to make sure that as I'm posting these videos, these jobs that you are getting notified so that you can go ahead and quickly submit your applications. These jobs, they get filled up very quickly. Okay. So subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed already. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when I do post new videos. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time, best of luck to you as you apply. Take care, guys.